the bell icon to turn on notifications. When you're working in a workbook, particularly a large workbook that contains lots of data, have you ever noticed that when you scroll down, you lose your column headings? So when I get sort of halfway through this data, it becomes quite difficult for me to ascertain the difference between column D, E and F. What do those values represent? Which one's the salary? Which one's the bonus? So instead of having to keep scrolling back up to the top to check which column heading belongs to which column letter, we can invoke a utility called freeze panes. And what this will do is it will freeze rows or columns that you specify so they don't move when you scroll. Now you're going to find freeze panes on the view ribbon in the window group, and it's this one just here. Now we have three different options. The one that I use most often would be freeze top row. So what this is going to do, it's going to keep the top row visible while scrolling through the rest of the worksheet. Now bear in mind, this will always freeze row one. So if your column headings are in row two or row three, it's not going to freeze them. It's still going to freeze the blank row one that you have at the top. Now you can freeze more than the top row. We're going to get onto that in a moment, but probably the easiest solution there is simply to move your data set up so that your column headings are in row one. So if I choose to freeze the top row, now when I scroll, those column headings stay exactly where they are. And this makes it so much easier for me to see what I'm looking at. Let's jump back up to freeze panes and I'm going to choose unfreeze panes just to remove the freezing from the top row. Let's take a look at the other options that we have in here. I can choose to freeze the first column. So again, if you have information that's going to be useful to keep static when you're scrolling, and this time we're talking about scrolling horizontally, you could freeze the first column. So now if I scroll across, the first column stays put and everything else scrolls. Back up to freeze panes and unfreeze panes. Now if you want to be a bit more granular about exactly what you're freezing, you could choose the freeze panes option. And this says keep rows and columns visible whilst the rest of the current workbook scrolls. And it says based on current selection. So if I click my mouse, let's just do something really random. If I was to click my mouse just here in cell B7 and then choose to freeze panes, it's going to freeze it here and here. So if I scroll vertically, it's frozen the first few rows. And if I scroll horizontally, again, it's just frozen that first row because of where I was clicked. Let's unfreeze panes again. If I was to click down here and choose freeze panes, you've guessed it. When I scroll up, it's going to have frozen the first 11 or 12 rows and I can scroll horizontally. So you can customize exactly what you're freezing and where. Now, another option which works along the same lines is the split option. You can select a cell and choose to split your workbook at this specific point. Now, if I was to click, let's say in cell A10 and choose split, it's going to put that split just above. And now I can scroll my document in the top half of the screen and also scroll it in the bottom half as well. If you want to remove that split, just click the split button again. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.